And after getting to work with Matthijs de Ligt, Julian Nagelsmann has been pretty vocal oh. about Juve's training methods. Okay. Uh, we're going to hear what he had to say. He said, I talked to De Ligt after the training session and he said the training session was the hardest in the last four years. At the same time, it was hard, but not that hard. Oh, OK. He didn't play that many minutes last season and I heard that in Italy, it's not easy to stay fit. We have to train hard with him. Uh, has something changed with the... Well, I was going to say, Italy was always the place where the yeah. fitness levels Especially were great. Juve. The, 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 and we've heard about Antonio Conte uh, with his coach at Tottenham yeah. saying the players have never worked quite so hard. I, I think Nagelsmann is uh, oh. just just, uh, just just trying to make a point that he's going to have to work hard with De Ligt and yeah. De Ligt isn't quite fit at the moment and won't probably start the games. But overall, I can't think there's too much wrong with the, with the Italian <laughs> well, fitness levels. Say, why has no. he said well, this, though, he's Nagelsmann? Ta he's taken this opportunity to essentially give himself a pat in the back. Yeah. Hey, guys, yeah. our training sessions are excellent. We're really pushing the players. See those guys in Juventus, they don't know what, we're, what they're doing. We now know how to run a training session. <laughs> I mean, it is a perfect opportunity for a manager to say to himself, I am great. Yeah. My training uh, sessions are great. Has word filtered back to Italy that what he said, Gab? Oh, it, it, it has. And, you know, uh, people have uh, commented on it. You know, Borucci coming out and saying, well, you should be respectful. Um, it's funny, if you really want to go there, if you really want to create something out of poor Julian Nagelsmann and get him in trouble, he's also having to go at Eric Ten Hag, isn't he? Because he said, you know, last four years, well, first of those years, he was at Ajax, so, you know, maybe Eric Ten Hag is soft too, Julian. Maybe that's what you're saying, right? <laughs> so it's not just an Italian thing. Maybe he's having a pop at United. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe Nagelsmann's disrespecting Manchester United. There you go. <laughs> I think it might be a bit of silly season. We talk about silly season with the transfers, but some of these coaches are saying quite a lot this summer, aren't they? Well, I, I just sensed, and I'm going to say, I had another interview with one with Nagelsmann, a very quick one. Another they're, interview with the they're, Tarsha they're, Harris. They look like a man who was under a bit of pressure. I think he's under pressure. I think Bayern Munich didn't play at their best last season, although they won Bundesliga. Even he said it in the interview, we need to be better and I need to win everything. And I just sense that he's a man under... Even on the side of the pitch, usually he's quite confident. He didn't look confident when Man City were playing around them. Uh, he, he might have one or two problems. And can I just tell you, it's not just Nagelsmann. If you're a player like De Ligt and you've had a difficult time at Juventus and now you're coming as a big signing to Bayern Munich, the first thing you want to do is create a relationship with a manager. Hey, your training is great. <laughs> yeah, That's hey, the hardest. Look, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you, I haven't been pushed like this. I, you are now creating a bond, a connection. However, is it? I said, to Kay, I said to Kay, you're the best presenter we've had yeah, on the show. That's yeah, right. That's what, I thought you meant that. Right. No, so, oh, yes, so I did. Kay. You are playing. So you said the he's game. flattering Nagelsmann. You are playing a game. Look, apparently the relationship with Sarri wasn't all that great. His time at Juventus wasn't all that great. Relationship with Allegri wasn't all that great. So the first thing that you're going to address in this new situation, when you're starting over, is I'm going to make my relationship with this guy, the manager, the best it can possibly be. Come on now, that's just, that's, that's a layup right there. That's a tapping from my kind of range. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.